bienvenidos a todos. Hoy estamos con, bueno, bienvenidos a Tiempo Fuera. Hoy estamos con Eric Anderson, eh, jugador de Kimsa. Eh, well, first of all, how are you? We already asked you this, but again. I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? How are vacations? Vacations is good. I mean, you know, excited to have some time off, but ready to get back started. Nice. Yes, this season you had a great run in, in both the Argentinian League and the Continental Cup. Yeah, yeah, we had a good we had a good season last year. We didn't finish the way we like, but it was a good year. And how would you describe this past year in Kimsa? Um, I think we had a successful year. Uh even though we didn't win the championship, but um, you know, we did a lot of other great things with winning the cup and uh going to the final final four of the of the um BCL. So it was a successful season. You know, we didn't get get the championship, but You know, that's the way basketball is. But it was a, I think it was a successful season. You know, everybody got better throughout the season. Amazing. And uh, continuing the line, the timeline, how do you, how do you think this next year is going to, uh, going to, to be like, what are your expectations? Um, Same ex expectations going into every season, you know, just play hard every day in practice, every game. And, you know, the results will take care of itself. You know, we obviously we wanted to win and we're going into every year trying to win as a player. You know, I spoke to the organization and they're trying to win. So, you know, we're just trying to win games and win as much as we can. And that's the goal. That's always the goal. Perfect. Another question that we want, we mostly ask because we have like the... We, we always question ourselves how uh, every basketball player's career starts uh, very young, but uh, what does what's the motive that you have to play basketball? I know I don't know if I explain myself. I like how well, did you get into the world of basketball? Um, well, I started playing when I was young, you know, in the neighborhood, the parks and stuff like that. But I just always love to play. It's fun for me. Every game, every practice, basketball, I love it. So that's what's kind of motivated me to still play now. It's just I enjoy playing. I enjoy competing. And basketball is always – I love it. Like, it's it's not a job for me. It's, I love it. It's fun. Nice. And growing up, do you idolize any player? Um, No. I mean, Kevin Garnett. I, like, I really like Kevin Garnett. Uh, but other than that, it's more so just – You know, whoever is exciting, I, I just enjoy basketball as a whole. If I like something or any player, it could be younger than me, older than me, NBA, overseas, anywhere. If I like it, I'm going to watch it. I just really enjoy basketball. Well, uh, you had the opportunity to do what most high school and uh, university students want and uh, all around the world uh, that are like – Uh, into basketball that is playing the NCAA. Uh, obviously, you played in uh, New Heaven. Uh, mm -hmm. It's in Division Two, but it's still top league of basketball, uh, uh, of college basketball. Uh, yeah. How would you describe the experience of uh, having the opportunity to go there? Oh, well, I was blessed to be able to pick up a scholarship and go play at a university. You know, it's very hard. It's a lot of It's a lot of players that play high school basketball that don't get the chance. Uh, my coach, Ted Hotalan, you know, the guys there, they took a chance on me. And um, from there, it was just, you know, steady progression and learning every day. Um, he always told us becoming is better than being. So we just try to take it day at a time, you know, enjoy, enjoy it all. And just if you love basketball, it's, it's easy. I wouldn't say easy, but. I can tell you like basketball a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm actually about to go watch a basketball game after this. Uh, what basketball game? Sorry. Um, I... they, have, they have a little community event here uh, in New Jersey, so I'm going to go watch that. Well, it's interesting. Always watching basketball is fun. <laughs> do, you, do you watch a lot of overseas basketball? Oh, when, I'm, when I'm playing, if I have time, you know, if I have time, I watch a lot of overseas, but Because I have a lot of friends that play, and so I try to tune into my friends' games. 
things like that, or you know, the NBA is on the same time that we're on. So I watch a lot of NBA as well. But you don't have any NBA team that you support or you root for, no? Oh yeah, I like I like the Miami Heat. Miami Heat. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, we're on the same page. Okay, good, good, good. I am the Heat supporter. I best team by far. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a good year. Is there a reason why you support Miami? Um, I started liking them once D Wade got there and Shaq, you know, Shaq came over to the East Coast, but. I don't know. I just there was just something about him. I just like incredible, perfect. And is there a reason that you were number twenty one in uh, in your shirt? Uh, I know you wear different numbers, but uh, maybe <laughs> it was. Fun. Um. Well, when I first tried, when I first got to college, I wanted twelve because that was used to be my number in high school. They okay. didn't have it, so I just had twenty one, and then that was my college number. So <laughs> it's just. <laughs> It just got to that, yeah. So you had a, a bit of history with the 21. I thought because yeah. uh, of Kevin Garnett, you mentioned it before, I thought you were yeah. going to go that way, but apparently it was reversed. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was just switched. <laughs> <laughs> And you uh, you mentioned before that you played a lot of, of overseas basketball. You played in Germany, in Luxembourg, in Portugal, Japan, Israel. I, I can continue at least Argentina obviously you play in Kimsa uh, is basketball overseas something you recommend to oh yeah I think... yeah I do recommend it I oh. think it's a great outlet for you know guys that's not going to the NBA um guys that don't get the chance to go to the NBA um overseas is a good it's a good um way to you know grow up and expand and just look at a lot of different cultures And it's a great experience if you just embrace it. I really enjoy it. Yes, but be because I think a lot of American basketball players, uh, obviously the goal is the NBA. We talked it before. Uh, everybody wants to go to the NBA. For us, it's not possible because I, I we don't. Well, I applied to my college basketball and I got rejected. <laughs> to be honest with you. I am not oh, that no. good at basketball. I know basketball. I don't. I'm not <laughs> that good at playing. Uh, oh, yeah. But I think they, I, I know where these careers like. It, it's very fulfilling. I I think there's a lot of things that you can learn from different cultures, and obviously, there are leagues like Sp the Spanish league is yeah. incredible. It's very good. And I think it's uh, I you had. The opportunity to go different places and enjoy basketball over there, and yeah, it's it's just different. It's an adjustment. Um, I think if a lot more guys do it, it'll be more of um, more big. But a lot of guys just don't want to, you know, go away and just be in a whole different different country alone, That's or true. with your, you know, with your wife or your kids if you have that. But it's it's a hard adjustment at first, but once you get used <laughs> to it. Uh, most of the guys that that make it past about year three, they yeah. they love it and they just do it as long as they can. Well, I'm going to ask you the question that Tamash left to you, and you're yeah. going to, if you can, you can think of a question that you would like to leave to our next guest. I'm not going to tell you who it's going to be because <laughs> I don't want oh, to do that to change, <laughs> like differentiate the, the question. No question. But okay. Uh, the question that Tamash left us is, at what point did you realize that you were going to make it pro? Um, my junior year of college, about halfway through my junior year of college, I realized that I could play professionally. Um, I knew I had a lot more work to do, and I still have work to do, but I think I was at a, at a point where I realized that I do want to make this a part of my life after college. So my junior year in college, I think I finally realized it. Perfect. Amazing. Well, now we are headed to the... You can think of the question that you want to leave. I, I leave okay. you there. I know it's a bit difficult. <laughs> uh, we're going to the flash question sections, and then you can tell us what you think. And you, we'll give you time. I Don't worry. Okay. Well, are you ready? Because it's got to be fast. <laughs> Favorite movie? Batman, Dark Knight. 
Favorite TV show? Mario. Not including basketball. What sport do you watch or play the most? American football. Teammate you spent uh, the most time with? Teammate I spent the most time with this past season? Yes. yes. Uh, Devontae Thomas. Favorite food? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Best video game ever? Uh, NBA 2K. Hot or cold? Cold. One dream left to accomplish, not non basketball related. Um, start a family, have a son. Favorite artist? Jay Z. And best basketball shoes, in your opinion? Kyrie's. Kyrie Irving. It's Kyrie's. We I think we don't we didn't get that yet. It's it's the first time we get Kyrie's. Yeah, Kobe's too, but right now. Yeah, that, that's what we usually get. <laughs> yeah, oh, Kobe's uh, are. Kyrie's we that's we had, we had a, a basketball a Chilean basketball player that's a fan of Kyrie Irving. It's he wears number two because of him. Just to give you a little bit of context, I think he said Kyrie's too. See, si. and yeah. do you have an idea of what question do you want to leave for our next guest? Uh, for the next guest, um. You can ask the next guest, uh, what's next after basketball? Okay, okay. that's a good What's question. Okay. It's, it's, uh, I think we, 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 he will have to think a lot because he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he will basically, uh, figure out his future in our interview. <laughs> yeah, some give him some direction. Perfect. Uh, well, uh, now we give you the space to say whatever you want. Literally, uh, once we had a player that said a uh, triple double and just, uh, no, I'm just uh, kidding. But you can say whatever you want. Shout out to someone. Or... Um, shout out to you guys. Thank you for having me up here. You know, it was good. Um, I look forward to, you know, following you guys some more. Uh, we'll see. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, thank you a lot for coming and we wish you the best uh, for next year and a uh, success for Kimsa and we hope to keep in touch to and when you win the, the Argentinian league next year we'll do another interview yeah. and yeah. You, you will say <laughs> I made it and yeah for sure for sure perfect thanks for coming thank you thank you thank you bye bye, bye.